Today is an interesting day. 30 years ago today was the worst nuclear disaster that ever happened in the history of our planet. In fact, Chernobyl's reactor number four exploded and released about 400 times the amount of nuclear material that was released when the Hiroshima nuclear bomb exploded. Now I'm doing this because I have an Animal Planet documentary that I helped co-host with the lovely Marianne Ohada, which is airing tonight on Animal Planet. Life After. Chernobyl. And actually, I just made a video right here on our main channel talking about five things that you didn't know about Chernobyl. Well, right now, I want to talk about five more things that you probably didn't know about Chernobyl. First, you can still die from radiation in Chernobyl. So there are still working power plants on the Chernobyl base. People live and commute back and forth there. You might have also heard that the wildlife is returning. You have this really radioactive place, yet you've got all these wolves living here. But the truth of the matter is that's in large part because of some 500,000 liquidators, as they were called, people brought in by the Soviet Union to help clean up the mess, get rid of those radioactive isotopes on the surface of the soil and on buildings. Well, in areas where they washed it all and maybe areas Areas where water collects, they actually got some really hot spots. In fact, we found some of those in the city of Pripyat. You see that little depression, that little circle right there? Um, it's very high readings. Matt, what was the reading on that? On this one, do you want me to bring him in so you can have yeah, a Yeah, yeah, here, show us that reading. Yeah. I'm to show you guys so this. We have road from 22 as we come in. So we're going straight through 100, 200. Yeah, that one's 250, 270. 300, that's 400. Measuring the amount of uh, yeah. radiation coming out of that thing. Over Pe a thousand we got there. Yeah, peaked at 1900, which means you got about 10 hours before game over. <laughs> oh, that's from these guys, not me. Two, animals are radioactive but doing well. When you enter Chernobyl, I think the first thing I was amazed at is it kind of feels a little bit like a national park. There are animals running around places um, and things look beautiful. But radiation is an interesting thing because you can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. The animals there are still affected when they stand on the ground. They're standing on this radioactive material, eating with their beaks this, the radioactive berries, cancers, tumors, um, real mutations with the animals that live there. But it's at a certain rate. So not all the animals there have cancer. It's a certain percentage. Now we as humans would not tolerate even a small percentage of mutation. So essentially these animals, even though they have the deleterious effects of radiation all around them, because there are no humans there, they're actually doing relatively well. Three, the Wormwood Star Prophecy. Now this one's really spooky. It links the event that happened at Chernobyl with end of the world events. In fact, Revelations 8, 10, and 11 go like this. The third angel sounded and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs of waters. The name of the star is called Wormwood, and a third of the waters became Wormwood, and men died from the waters because they were made bitter. Here's the thing, Wormwood is a plant, and we found it. Super smelly, that's what they make absinthe from, so it's a little bit psychoactive, grows all over this region, which here is called Chernobyl. Which is why they named the town Chernobyl, because there was so much wormwood growing there, which is then why they named the power plant Chernobyl. Uh, this is a beautiful mural in the middle of the town of Chernobyl, and it depicts the, basically the scene of Armageddon. This is symbolizing the Wormwood Star, and what you can see in the background as well is the rebirth. Four, you can actually visit Chernobyl. If you want to see a post-apocalyptic world, then you should probably sign up for one of these tours. Now one of the areas you can actually visit on a tour is the ghost town of Pripyat. And look around, look around at this place. We're standing in the square. This is the center of the city where everything happened. And it kind of looks like a little forest. It's, it's a huge abandoned ghost town of a city with giant skyscrapers where you know, everything's just crumbling and falling down. But it's also an interesting case study in what life might be like if people all of a sudden vanished. You're looking at a giant forest right behind us, but turns out this is the football stadium. Chernobyl is actually an amazing experiment. Because now you have this whole area around the power plant which is being subjected to large amounts of ionizing radiation just bomb 
blasting the plants and animals that live there, their cells, their DNA. And we can look at the plants and animals inside the zone. We can compare them to the ones outside of the zone. What are the effects um, on cancer rates? How are they coping? Are they doing okay? Are they doing not okay? And this, of course, was one of the main reasons that Marianne and I went to Chernobyl, to see how things were dealing with radiation inside of the zone. And what we found, I can't tell you because it's in the documentary, uh, was really, really fascinating. So go check out the show. Links in the description below. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I know this is a little bit different than my normal how-to tips and tricks documentary that I did with Jonas, but I'm doing this now because a large part of my experience comes from doing things like this, hosting shows for Animal Planet, and I'm curious what you guys think about it. So. Go check it out. Watch it on Animal Planet. It should be really cool. Links in the description below. And I'm going to leave you with the trailer just to get you a little bit more excited. This whole area was super secret. Nobody was allowed in here. The levels of contamination are lethal. Plants and animals have been living with radiation their entire lives. What's going on? These radioactive wolves. Nature has fought back. We've paid a high price. But there is hope. Life After Chernobyl, Tuesday at 10, only on Animal Planet.